the most noticeable or important? Salient. Oh my lord, well I know. 9% battery. I should get my charger. Get to the charger! Okay, today's vlog is going to take place right here. Today I am going to talk about yesterday. Is that a bit of a cop out? Today I'm going to talk about yesterday. Anyway, a lot happened yesterday, so I would like to take a minute to just sit right here and tell you how I became the prince of a town called Rosslare. For those who didn't see yesterday's vlog, which went up today, which is now yesterday, I still don't know how to kind of reference the vlogs. It's hard. I'm just going to sit here for the next five minutes and I am going to speak about what I learned from yesterday, even though I really feel like it was more of a reinforcement of what I already knew, which is great as well because sometimes it's nice to have people who you look up to and give you inspiration in the roundabout way, telling you that you have the right mindset and you're doing it right. Here, I don't know where to start. How do I start this? Where do I start? So Gary Vaynerchuk, I highly recommend checking him. Out. I highly recommend checking him out. He's the guy that gave me the kick up the arse to actually pick up the fucking camera and do this vlog. Yes, Casey Neistat gave me the creative inspiration, but Gary Vaynerchuk was the guy who said you have to be doing daily fucking content in 2016 if you want to grab the attention of the people you want to have the attention of. This guy brought out this book, Ask Gary V. Check it out. Yesterday's event was part of his world tour promoting this book. I'm just gonna leave this here. I wrote down some points last night that I don't wanna make in this video, but I don't know. Like, I literally can't fucking tell what I wrote down. Before I get into it, you might be thinking that yesterday and today aren't very musically orientated. And hey, you get a prize. You're right. But this stuff is more important to me getting to where I want to be at the top of the music world than a guitar. This thing here is also very important to my music career. Ooh. Is that a tune? I don't want to just write songs and be happy with that. I want to take over the world of this thing, but you can't just show up with this in Glastonbury and headline one of the main stages because you're good at what you do. You have to get people on board, and that is what this whole thing is about. Yesterday, I invested 100 euro in myself so that I could further my music career and maybe if you're struggling with the thing you need to do, invest in yourself. Whether that be time, money, energy, whatever it is, invest in yourself. It'll be the best thing you ever did. This is gonna be a lot longer than I thought. Think Johnny, think Johnny, think Johnny, think. Yes, if I had to sum up yesterday in one sentence, it would be this. If I had not started vlogging when I started vlogging, and then I went up to this event yesterday, I would have been pissed at myself because yesterday was all about not asking for permission from anybody and just doing it. So Pat Dively was on before Gary Vaynerchuk. Pat walked on stage and he said immediately, I'm not going to talk about strategies. I'm just going to tell my story. And immediately it resonated with me because Casey Neistat always says it's all about the story. It's so true. Tell your story. That's what this is about. I'm telling you my story. And that way you can't be wrong. Oh, I just realized I've been talking for 17 minutes. I'm just going to tell you the salient points from yesterday and I'm just going to salient. Is that the word I need? Salient. Here's a tip. If you don't know something, Google it and then you know it. Simple. Genius. I have a tendency when I get really inspired by something that I don't remember the specifics of it. I just remember how it made me feel and actually that's a good thing to say. People won't always remember what you said but they will remember how you made them feel. Yes, what you say is important but how you say it is more important and what you make people feel is the most important. Number one, share your story. I've been talking about it, I've been doing it. You're the only person who has your story. So if you're ever worried about, oh, someone else has already done that or someone else, fuck, no, they haven't. No one's told my story before. There's a million vlogs out there. That's awesome. Tell your story. You, you're the most original person in the world. Tell your story and you will win. And that's all that matters. That's all I'm saying on that. I'm not gonna ramble any further. Number two, stop waiting for perfect. Again, it's what I talked about. Remember I was saying I'd be, I would have been pissed off if I didn't start these vlogs when I did because everyone was just talking about the things that made me want to do my vlog. You're like, oh, I need a better camera or oh, you know, I'll open the business when I have better photos of my product or oh, I'll wait till I have a better location or just fucking do it. If you start something today, by tomorrow, you'll be one day better at it. I'm nine days better at vlogging because of this. I, I was already a confident person for sure. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm not going to say I wasn't confident and now this vlog has given me confidence. But I'm better at talking to a camera after nine days of talking to a camera than I ever have been before. Nine days better at talking to a camera and I'm nine days better at talking in real life. Getting my point across, thinking and executing. That's what life is all about. Number three, stop waiting for permission. Stop waiting for someone else to tell you that yes, you can do it. No one gave me permission to do these vlogs 
and I don't give a fuck if anyone doesn't give me permission to do these vlogs. I gave myself permission. To, is that kind of a contradiction? No. The only person you need permission from is yourself. That's the only permission you need, I suppose. And even if you don't want to give yourself permission, just fucking do it anyway. Fuck yourself. Does that make sense? Number four, step up and be a leader. People have problems, and I have the problem myself. Why would someone watch me? Why would I be the leader that people look to instead of looking to someone who has a billion dollar company, has all the success, and actually does the public speaking thing for a living? Why would someone watch me? Why would I be the leader someone looks to? Well, someone made the great point today that because he knows me, it's real. He knows who I am, and maybe that's why this is hitting home with so many people in Wexford, people who I know. Tell your story. Don't wait for perfect, don't wait for permission, and step up and be a leader. You be the person that sticks your head above and goes, you know what, I'm gonna fucking do this. I'm gonna be the person in my industry that does this better than everyone else. And I'm starting to get this now. It's about community. I don't know who said it yesterday, but someone said it, and that's most important that someone said it. A coffee shop is not a coffee shop. It is a community. It is a sense of belonging. It is somewhere where you feel at home, where maybe you don't have somewhere where you can feel at home. And maybe that's what this is becoming. And that's what I want my music to become. If you feel at home in this vlog, you will feel at home listening to my music. I fucking guarantee it. Also, I think as Pat said, why should I be the authority on this? Why should Johnny Stewart be the authority on motivating you and inspiring you and talking about my music career? Because I have made myself the authority. I have decided that I am going to be the authority on this from my perspective. And you can be the authority on anything from your perspective. So just do it. I've probably been talking for about 25 minutes now, which is fine, I'll edit it all down to the, the salient points. And maybe I didn't leave myself enough time to talk about Gary Vaynerchuk, but I mean, was thinking about this earlier on. There's nothing I could say about Gary Vaynerchuk in half an hour that I couldn't say in 30 seconds. The guy is an energetic ball of energy, in, more intense than the sun, and he infects you with his passion for what he does. If that's all I could say about Gary Vaynerchuk, that's all you need to know to go and click on his name in this vlog and check him out and watch his videos. This is gonna be so hard to fucking edit. Let me finish. Thank you for watching this vlog. Vlog, 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 vlog. I feel like I've expelled a lot of, a lot of good stuff there. Thank you for watching. Funny random thing. <laughs>